All right, so we need to have a sit down. Come, 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 come. Sit down. <laughs> So what is the tea, bitch? I realize I didn't say that in the last two videos, but I'm saying it today. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here really quickly. I don't want to waste too, too much of your time, but we are heading into the holiday season. And more than likely, y'all will be doing some shopping over the holiday season, not just Black Friday, not just Thanksgiving, if you sadly have to work on Thanksgiving because these companies out here are greedy as fuck and they don't care about your ass. But as somebody who works in retail, I just wanted to um, give out a few, um, not rules, but um, things that won't get us to talking about you after you leave the store. For anybody who is going into a store on Thanksgiving, what I don't want to hear is an apology. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all gotta work. But you're here. If you didn't want people to work on Thanksgiving so badly, you wouldn't have brought your ass up in the store in the first place. Am I lying? I just recently checked my job description and it did not say anything about a uh, babysitter. So um, watch your kids. If they break something, that is on you, boo-boo. If we are looking for a price for you and you say it must be free, you're so original. Your coupons are your responsibility. I don't care if you left them at the house. I don't care if it's on your email and it's not loading up. I don't care if it's on a web page and you can't load it up. I don't care if a bird dropped it on your skull and it fell on the floor. Coupons are your responsibility. That also goes into expired coupons. We cannot take your raggedy coupon from 10 months ago. It's not happening. Sorry, not sorry. Fine print is on the coupon for a reason. Read it. If the coupon does not work on an item, it does not work on an item. That is not my responsibility. That is just the company. Whatever policy, whatever rule, we don't make them. We just enforce them because we have to. Don't waste my time. If you see me looking between the stock room and the sales floor, trying to make sure that I look for the item that you are looking for and you don't buy it, shit happens. And this is broken down in a few ways. Because for one, it's not my fault that an item is out of stock. I'm sorry that you're late. If my register is not working, shit happens. Don't take it personal. If you have to wait in a line, and we're doing our best to try to ring up everybody as quickly as possible, shut the fuck up and be patient. If you walk into my store and I say, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to so-and-so, such and such. And you see me and keep walking, you're not getting help from me. I guess you can call me Patrick Swayze because I'm ghosting your ass. If you don't see me, I don't see you. If we open at 6 a.m., we open at 6 a.m. Do not call us. This goes into closing time as well. If we close at 10 p.m., we close at 10 p.m. Don't you bring your ass up in there at 9.58 unless you plan on being out by 9.59.59. Do you know that people fake talking on their phone just to avoid you? Come up in my story, you steady get talked to whether you on your phone or not. <laughs> if you got a question and you on your phone, I will have a full-on conversation while you are on your phone, girl. I don't care. Let's get real basic real quick. Two things you must say in a retail environment, whatever store you're in. You ready for this? I can already feel this is about to be a blessing to somebody's life right here. Okay, it's gonna make all the difference in the world. You ready for this? First one is please. Second one is thank you. You say those two, you'll be all right. Don't throw your money on the counter. Don't throw your credit card on the counter either. It's rude. If I threw your items at you, you think you would like that? We don't know everything about the store. And if you think we do, you're a dumbass. You got millions of items in this one store online, in the store, out of stock, old. Like, do you really think? What this all comes down to, basically, 
we're human. Would you like to be treated with some respect? Then I would like to be treated with some respect. Let's do that. But common sense is, you know, damn near extinct impotence, motherfuckers. So to all the people that are in like the customer service industry, I'm with you. I'm definitely there. Do whatever you gotta do to make sure you don't lose your cool at your job, especially if you need that job. You trying to, if you rely on a paycheck, okay. If you have to drink some wine after work, smoke you a little something, get you a boyfriend or a cute little buddy who can treat you right at night. <coughs> Do whatever you got to do, okay, to make sure that you are sane and you are okay, okay? Because these people out here will drive you nuts, girl, okay? <laughs> now, of course, I'm not saying this to, like, bash anybody or anything like that, but it's just, like, like, can y'all act like y'all got some sense? That is pretty much it. If you have any more, if I forgot any pet peeves of working in retail, put them down below. And make sure to subscribe too. I'm gonna try to keep on going with these videos here. <laughs> but if I don't see y'all before Thanksgiving, I hope y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. Y'all have a good weekend. Eat all the food. Yes, do your shopping. But be good and stay safe. Y'all know Black Friday, that people out here be nuts. So just be careful. Be safe. Shopping is supposed to be, you know, all fun and everything like that, but some people just take it a tad bit too seriously. It's mostly why I do my shopping online. <laughs> I ain't dealing with nobody, okay? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. I'll see y'all again, alright? Peace!